Hello and welcome to Attention Central Texas. I'm your host, Charles Jenkins, and in the studio, we have two awesome people from the Body of Christ Community Center. We have the Executive Director, Ms. Donna Dunn, and we have Mr. Jerry Perry. He's a board member. Hello, guys, and welcome to today's show. Hi. How are you? How are you? All right, and I know what we're getting ready to talk about is kind of near and dear to both of y'all hearts. First, tell us a little bit about the uh, Body of Christ Community Center before we get started into why you guys here today. Okay. So uh, the Body of Christ Community Clinic is uh, a, uh, a clinic. It's been open since June of 2010. It's in Belton. And we provide medical and dental care for residents of the Belton Temple Salado area that um, have no insurance, that are unemployed, underemployed, people that really don't have any, mm. any options for medical or dental care anywhere else. And you said something interesting because I, I know when people hear that word, they're like, what does that mean? Tell us what underemployed means. Um, <clears throat> so the federal poverty uh, guidelines say that um, if you have a family of four and you make less than $43,000 a year, you're considered 200% uh, uh, along the poverty guidelines. Okay. So a lot of people in our area, you know, a lot are working our minimum wage. And so um, they don't, you know, and they may have a family of two, three, four, or whatever, and it's just not enough to, mm. you know, get a get insurance, or then if you're not insured, you know, get any medical services, and especially dental services. And speaking of medical and dental, I'm pretty sure y'all have a great number of people that come by and utilize the services. We do, we do. I was just telling John just a few minutes ago that uh, this first quarter. Uh, we've seen 500 patients. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that up since last year? or It's up quite a bit, especially for dental. Mm -hmm. We uh, Everybody that uh, serves at the clinic are volunteers. So all of our medical staff, all of our dental staff are all volunteers. And so we, uh, we've been very blessed to have uh, several new dentists come on board. So we're able to, mm -hmm. you know, be open more for dental services. So that's increased uh, significantly. And Mr. Perry, we didn't forget about you over no, here. No, it's all right. Um, she likes to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like for you being on the board and just seeing how God used the clinic to just move through people's lives? It's actually been amazing. It's been an amazing experience. I knew very little about the clinic before I became a board member. I represent Salado United Methodist Church on the board. And I've seen God act in so many different ways. He's blessed us abundantly. Uh, we were able to open a brand new dental clinic thanks mm -hmm. to the direction of God and the support of the community. And we're called Body of Christ Community Clinic. Like and it truly is a community mm -hmm. effort. It's the effort of, of uh, Belton and Salado and Temple. To, to have a facility that we can help those who are in need. It's just been, it's just watching God work has just been amazing. All right, now to talk about the big thing, the mm -hmm. banquet. Tell us a little bit about the banquet, when it is, how much tickets cost, and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, our, this is our fourth? Fifth. fifth, I'm sorry, our fifth annual banquet. When we were given the, the building to start the dental clinic, we started having banquets to raise money and you know to get the clinic built and then now to sustain it. So this, we're going into our fifth year and it's going to be on May the 1st at the University of Mary Hearn Baylor <laughs> and uh, in the Balkum Student Union. And this year we have invited uh, uh, Mr. Omar Garcia. Okay. He is the missions pastor at Kingsland Baptist Church down near Houston. And um, I uh, attended a conference last year in Houston that he was one of the session presenters. And he just really spoke to my heart some of the things he said because he is very much a proponent of getting the church outside of the church walls mm. into the communities and making a difference in people's lives and that's that's very important to me I think that's what we do at the Body of Christ Clinic and so uh, we're very excited to have him up and uh, gonna do our presentation for us um, you wanna tell about the sure. cost and all? the event is May the 1st mm -hmm. and tickets are available you can get them at the Body of Christ Community Clinic in Belton 
uh, and single tickets are $40, or you can buy a table for $300. And then we have other higher uh, giving options and different benefits for, for those higher giving options. Will there be any silent auction yes. going on? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a, a big help for us in the past. We have folks that donate items to us, and then we, we have a silent auction uh, right before the event and up to the time that the speaker begins to speak. And uh, this question is for both of you, and I'll start with you, uh, Mr. Perry. What, uh, tell, tell our viewers in the community, why is this clinic so important for the Central Texas area? I think it's incredibly important, extremely important, because we provide services that people really don't have an option to receive. Uh, we do not charge uh, our patients for the medical or dental care that they receive. And sometimes you can always go to the emergency room if you have a medical emergency, but for dental particularly, you don't have that option. You can't go to the emergency room for a, a severe dental problem. So what we do is provide these services at no cost to those who qualify and, and have the need. And so without us, there's not a whole lot of options for, for these folks. Expand on that. Well, I, I agree. You know, it's totally, they would not have an option um, for the medical care, but we also, uh, you know, my favorite part of it is I think we're a ministry mm. because we, uh, you know, we not only take care of their physical needs, but we, you know, uh, most of our providers that are in there will pray with our patients. We, when they come and sign in for services, they, they check off whether they would like prayer or not. And then somebody during that visit will take them aside and That's speak awesome. to them and pray with them, uh, you know, about any concerns or needs. In addition to that, we have a prayer box in our waiting areas that um, they can actually write a prayer request on. And then one of our supporting churches, um, First Baptist Belton, picks those up and then they take them to their prayer room at the church and pray on, uh, awesome. pray for them. So. What, um, in, in your time there, what, if you want to share with us just a little success story of somebody coming back and just being truly thankful for what you oh, guys do? Oh, all of our patients are very, very grateful for what we do there. I mean, we've, we, we have a patient survey that we get our patients to fill out quarterly and the comments are on there like I said, you know, that they, they, they appreciate the fact that we're providing those medical services, but they always comment, my doctor prayed with me, or um, they asked me if I had any other needs. And so um, that, I think that is really important. We have a diabetic clinic. We've seen changes in a lot of our diabetic wow. patients that are having their A1Cs monitored now. If our patients can't afford their insulin, we try to get them on uh, patient assist prescription assistance programs. And so once they're able to get on those medications, their, their health just changes dramatically. Mm -hmm. And then we've got those that come in the dental clinic and a lot of those people, you know, like John said, there's really no place to go for dental care because if the emergency room, they're gonna give you an antibiotic, they're not gonna take care of the pain. And we actually have had patients come in and tell us that they have, the pain has been so severe that they pull their own teeth, oh you know? And that is just something I just can't imagine. And so uh, they, you know, they're very grateful to be able to have wow. that service. And we're privately uh, funded. We, we don't accept any government funding. So all of our funding are, is by 14 churches that support us. And of those 14 churches, there are eight, eight different denominations. Yeah. And so we get that money. We have private donors that support us monthly. And then we have uh, a United Way grant. And so those, those are the monies. <coughs> and that's one of the reasons for the, you know, that it's important that we have these annual banquets to make people aware mm -hmm. of what's going on there and then give them an opportunity to you know, sign up to support us monthly. And, and one thing I always find from going to banquets is that you're in the community, but it amazes me how many people mm -hmm. don't know that you're mm -hmm. in the community and the services you guys provide. From hearing both of you talk, I love, theme just rings out to me that you're always breaking down barriers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, breaking down obstacles so people mm -hmm. can't come up with the excuse for not 
doing what they need to do. You right. know, even the the A ones, the diabetic clinic. Mm -hmm. You know, even though you're treating one thing over here, you you notice another need right. and you meet the need, and mm -hmm. that's basically what the good Lord wants us to do: see needs, meet needs, and I'm always in awe of uh, just talking to you and hearing all the things you yeah. guys do. Is there anything I didn't mention today that you wanted to no, we, we thank share. you for the time, but we call our banquet the Together We Heal Banquet, and that just kind of puts it all together. Mm -hmm. It is a community effort. It's something we do because we think God wants us to be doing this for, for people who are in need. And, any more thoughts about the banquet and anything I didn't touch on that you want to share? No, we would just like to have everybody come out. Um, contact information, you can call the clinic for tickets and reservations. And like John says, it's Together We Heal. And it's just um, an opportunity for folks to come and hear Omar and, and really hear his message about you know us being in the community and being the hands and feet of Christ. And, and taking care of those that. Um, and speaking of the center, mm -hmm. uh, do you have the address, or if somebody watching today and feel they have a, a need that never been want to come by, how the do they clinic? get? Yes, how do they get in contact with you, and how do they get? You know the address to the clinic. Uh, the address to the clinic is 2210B Holland Road. We're okay. in Belton, Texas, and um, our phone number is 254-939-9500. Okay, and. I think that's about that's about it. And you said the tickets were forty dollars for for individual. individuals and three hundred for a, a table. table. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Well, Mr. Perry, I've seen you before, and I'll say Thank again, you. thanks for what you do on the board, Thank and you. always you. good to see you. And thanks for what you do. It is well needed. And thank both of you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you, for you for sir. The opportunity. All right. And thank you for tuning into Attention Central Texas.